Hello friends, welcome to our new 8-minute core strength workout that will help us improve our range of motion, boost strength and maintain mobility. And now let's begin. We will start in a high plank position with your hands on the floor, arms straight underneath the shoulders. Keeping your core engaged, slowly walk your hands forward. Keep your back straight and don't let your hips sag toward the floor. When you walk to your hands as far as you can while maintaining your form, walk them back to the starting position. Engage your glutes, tense your legs and brace your core to keep your body strong and rigid. Feet should be between hip and shoulder width. One more time. And release. Wonderful. From here, lower your knees and get into all fours position, placing your knees under your hips and your hands under your shoulders. Maintain a neutral spine by engaging your abdominal muscles and draw your shoulder blades together. Now raise your right arm and left leg, keeping your shoulders and hips parallel to the floor. Lengthen the back of your neck and tuck your chin into your chest to gaze down at the floor. Lower back down to the starting position and raise your left arm and right leg, holding it at the top of the movement for a moment. And release. Excellent. Now get into a push-up position with your elbows under your shoulders and your feet hip-width apart. Bend your elbows and rest your weight on your forearms and on your toes, keeping your body in a straight line. Hold it here, breathing in and out, engaging your core throughout the whole exercise. And release. From here, lie on your left side, legs extended and stacked from hip to feet. The elbow of your left arm is directly underneath the shoulder. Engage your abdominal muscles, drawing your navel toward your spine. Lift your hips and knees from the mat while exhaling. Your torso is straight in line with no sagging or bending. And hold it here. Excellent. Release. Now switch the side, placing your right elbow directly underneath the shoulder. Exhale, lift your hips and knees off the floor and hold this position. Great. Release and lie on your back with your feet on the ground approximately hip width apart, your back flat and your elbows bent with fingers just touching your head on each side. To avoid straining your neck, do not fully support your head in your hands. From this starting position, lift your upper body up until your shoulder blades are off the floor. At the top position, you should feel a complete squeeze in your abdominal area. Hold it here and then reverse the motion and slowly lower yourself down again until your back is once again flat on your mat. Be careful to lift with your abdominal muscles and not with your arms, you should feel no pull in your neck.
wonderful. Now from the same lying position with your knees bent and feet placed firmly on the floor, engage your abdominals to stabilize your spine by pressing your lower back into your mat. Try to hold this position throughout the exercise. To begin, gently exhale and slowly lift one leg off the floor, moving your knee towards your trunk while maintaining a 90-degree bend at the knee and do not extend the knee during this movement. Hold it here and then slowly return your leg to the floor, repeating with the opposite leg. And release. Great. Now again, lying flat on your back, raise your legs off the floor, bending them at a 90-degree angle. Hold this position and as you exhale, begin to lift your shoulders off the mat using only your abs while moving your head toward your knees. Do not pull your head upwards with your hands. From the top of the movement, begin to lower back down. Now lower your legs to the floor, keeping them bent and keeping your lower back on your mat. Raise your legs back up to the starting position and repeat the cycle again. Exhale, crunch, lower back down and lower your legs to the floor. Beautiful. From here, transfer into your seated position, contract your abdominal muscles and bend your legs at your knees. Place your arms on top of each other in front of you and as you exhale, twist your torso to the right, bringing your right knee close to your left elbow. Return to the starting position and then crunch to the opposite side. Keep your back straight and your neck relaxed at all times. Engage your core and twist your torso only from the ribs up. Breathe evenly through this pose, exhaling as you twist and maintain a steady rhythm throughout the entire exercise. Last but not least, bear walk exercise. Transfer into all fours position with your wrists under your shoulders, knees placed directly under your hips, core tight and back flat. Your feet should be hip distance apart with your toes touching the ground. On your exhale, press into both feet and your hands to lift your knees off the ground like in a bear plank. Keeping your core engaged, lift your left hand and right foot off the ground Avoid letting your knees touch the ground. Lower back down and repeat the same with your right hand and left foot. Continue changing sides so that you are crawling forward just like a bear. And release. Mission complete. Be grateful to yourself for the time you offered yourself, for your motivation, for the attention you gave to yourself. Thank you for joining me, I wish you a really beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.